Guys, welcome back. So, one of my been, um, I'm just taking care of a freaking sick jaw. So, if he looks a little swollen, it's probably because he is. Um, so I can talk, so that's good. <laughs> um, how my babies are doing. If you don't know my, my call my babies, my teeth. They seem they're okay. Um, the asshole down below, he had a little bit of, a little bit of, um, back here, so. But he looks okay. He doesn't look too hurt. So I don't know. I'll just see how he is. Um, by Friday, I mean by this Wednesday, he does have, they do have an appointment. And, oh yeah, blame Chucky, because, we you know, he's the one that did it. And, oh yes, he got his ass frostbitten on freaking truck again. Wasn't too happy. Okay, but he's just his nature. He doesn't like the cold. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the, um, like my no-buy, low-buy type of thing, and I'm trying to get, I hit the 100 products, so I'm trying to hit the 200. So I stand at 67 items right now. That is not included in my makeup. If I include, I mean, not included in my like non makeup stuff, I would be at over 200. So technically, I've hit it. And hopefully, this cat, um, Phoebe's been in the trailer twice, so hopefully, she doesn't knock anything over. Okay, so let's start off with perfumes and sprays. I have not finished one off yet. I've um, been slacking, so this is what this guy's at. This one I got from Team U. Um, it's knocked off for the Tom Ford one, and it's really similar to it. I just hopefully, um, Lucifer let me talk, which is bad. My joint. My jar joint. He's been into a dick. So that's that guy. So I've been using this, um, off and on. Then we got bars of soap. I did finish up one. I'm not going to show it to you because, of course, it's gone. Um, we got sunscreen. I did finish up two of them this month. It would be this one right here, the, um, the Layways A. Uh, which I was a, I have you say that freaking thing. I do really like this one. I don't like their uh, tinted ones. Like, I don't think this one is a tinted. I don't like the tinted ones. Um, and also the Dr. Jart. Uh, this is the Everyday Sun Day. I really do like this one. That's what he looks like. A little sample of him. Barney always likes to send me samples of sunscreen. So these guys are gone. So after I finish off, let me, me show you um, the mini I'm working on currently. Which is this little guy, now a lower as a per se, and this is the tinted one. Tinted ones are kind of one of those you have to be kind of careful because they kind of peel. So this is this little mini one. So this is um, the 50. I wait before the six, this guy right here. So there's that one. Um, so after I finish this guy, I, this guy category is going to be completely gone because I only have two left. So I like to have like basically, I have one mini then I have a full size so I might include it a little bit so of course like I said my goal was to have eight of them which is not gonna be possible because I don't have any sunscreens I thought I did but um, my goal to use up I mean so I do plan on one this category out next month hopefully and then hopefully by next month I'll have one left It'd be amazing then I'm gonna match my goal so there's that one so that's gonna be goals really soon Next, let's talk about moisturizer. Um, my goal is 13. I still got a lot of moisturizer left. And I have, <clears throat> which I know I've, I think I hit more than 13, so I don't know why I hit 13. So, my second batch, I'm up to 9. And I do account my minis as well. <laughs> my sign says, you know, drainage. So, I did finish this guy right here. I use this mostly as a, it is, I didn't like this one. It's a Greek one from Dollar Tree. I'm just, ugh, I didn't like it. I try to use this why it looks kind of junky because it look, yeah, right. They got cleaned a little bit. So there's that guy. He's all used up. I use it as kind of like a body moisturizer because I didn't really like it on my face. So yeah, this one I didn't like. And of course now my cat's batting. Baby is batting a stinking limb. Empty, so. Might as well let her bat that thing around. And then also I finished, I'm not sure if I showed you this guy, the Dr. Jart. I, this is a, this is about the second or I believe the second one I finished. He's always filthy. To you mask I use as a moisturizer, um, face moisturizer. And this guy went by super quick. So there's that guy. So he's all gone. Then I finish up and this I just finished this guy up today. This one I really do like. This is the Conference of Cream Gel. And this is the Oil Control and this is by It Cosmetics. I really do like this one. This is one of those I want to get like another. Like maybe not this size, but maybe like in and a half full size, but between the two. To see how, but I really do like this one. It's a really good uh, moisturizer that is, like my skin is not too dry, but it's not too, it's like normal. 
So I don't need like a witch one. I use mostly use a witch one during the winter time. But again, this one's like perfect for like in my summer this time. Well, was them was. Now we get into more like cold fall. Oh, this that guy. Really do like that one. I'm so glad I I did get that like a little sample kit. Okay, and then the moisturizer I'm I haven't started yet. Is this like guy? This is a the um, beauty stat, and this is a Universal C um, skin refinery. I'm not sure how many moisturizers I have left for like actually daytime. Whatever, but I do have some more moisturizers, so this category is still in for now. Then we got primers. I did finish up a little mini primer. So this is the uh, RMS Beauty um, Revolve Radiance Lock Primer. So there's that. I'm at a total of, for this round, five. So this, that guy. This guy's like, whatever. Not cool. It's okay. Then the primer I'm at, I'm probably going to have this guy. Kitty. Oh, she's playing with straw. She's keep getting my pants. Of course, the board's on the right side. So the ones I'm working on right now is the elf one. So this guy might be going by the um, end of this year, which would be so exciting because I'm like down to here. The more I use it, the more skinny it gets. I'm like so excited to have this guy done. And the thing with elf that drives me nuts is that they never put a four ounce in these things. Um, let's see if they did in this one. Probably not. Like they have foundations, they don't. They have primers, they don't. Nope, 0.94. So you never get four ounces of product in any of um any of this shit. The FI. So there's that. This one's okay, it's not bad. I just take it here, 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 here. Does it do anything for this guy? Eh, so so, but yeah. I'm I'm enjoying it. It's but I just don't love it, love it. Then we have foundation. I did finish up a foundation and that's my Sephora uh clean foundation. This is when I was kinda off painting a little bit. Of course, I could probably score out more, but I was getting tired of it. I didn't like want to clean it out. But yeah, this is in shade uh, 21. I wish I had like a little bit deeper because it was a little bit too light on me. But yeah, this 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 guy. Um, it's nice. Um, it's more like a light medium kind of coverage. Um, those kind of like sheer like tint BB creams kind of type of thing don't really wear good on me. They just kind of fade away. Which I had get no idea why they come out in the summertime because I guess it's easy peasy and you usually want your makeup to last longer in the summertime. So they always come out and I'm like, they should put them out in the freaking winter and not in the dams. I'm like, I don't know why brands do that. But there's that. So, okay, not exactly what I would get again. The foundation, um, currently have progress. You're going to probably see this guy soon as well in the next week or so. It's this guy right here. I did mix a little bit of this little bit of foundations that's to make a kick ass and whatever. And I still mix it too. Or other foundations that's to make sure it's workable. As long as I powder my face, put the stupid thing, and then have, I wish I had powder. I'm like, this guy's a bitch to work with. It's not very long lasting and it doesn't like wear good on me. So it kind of just fades away real quickly. I'm um, like, right now I have the, um, the cup, not cup or. Clinique on, and then this one I'm like lately I had to be at work. Like, you can tell this guy's like swollen. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I'm trying to cover him, um, like he's like swollen. It's because of this guy, he's swollen. But, anyways, um, I have to like little pat on my face, then I put the primer on, then I put the foundation on, then of course, whatever, then power again. Then it kind of stays okay. It still doesn't wear the best, but it stays okay. So it's a pain in the ass. I would only recommend that you get unless you have really dry skin. And then we got cream products. I did finish up this guy. And actually, um, I was getting towards the end of it. And I decided to pot into one of these, into this guy right here. So he's in there. Because this guy, the cap was starting to get unbusted. And it was just like the packaging was kind of junky. Let me unscrew this so you can see what is inside. So I got most of it out. I'm not one of those people that cut the tube off and clean every goody tissues out of it but yeah so let's see if I can get like a little swatch of it okay there we go the thing is beautiful I love it but if you don't like I don't want to say glitter but yeah type of thing you won't like this kind of type of thing so but yeah I don't like in a cream product let me see if we can get like a better swatch so you can see like 
It does have a little bit of a glitter to it. When I get on my cheeks, I can't tell the difference, but yeah, it does have it in there. So if, 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 if you're wondering, it does have glitter. I think I'm used for my legs. All right, so cream products. We are at, like I said, that one. I have uh, two. Somehow I finished up 17. Now I'm kind of like slacking off. So the bronzers. Um, the, and the bronzer that I did actually combine these two. I got like something in my nose. So my lid duo. So this is kind of counted as two four. So there's that. So I did combine these together and make one bronzer because I did hit paint on that one. Then this one. Wait, it was this one. It was the one I hit paint on and I have a pretty, pretty decent paint on that one. You can see what the pan looked like. So I have basically that much left of it. And then I just had like a pan on this guy. So I just put them together and that's what I was did. So there's that guy. We'll see that one in a second. Then the bronzer I'm kind of working on is in this palette right here. But I want to talk about a different one. But this my little Franken guy right here. So he's in this guy now. Um, so yeah, there's that. This guy is kind of a reddish, I guess you want to call it. That's what it looks like. It's done a tone of it. Yes, yeah, I keep calling compacts. The cute ones. Okay. So, this is that one. The highlighter um, let's talk about is... What the hell? You? Not sure if I finished one or not. Um, I might have. I don't know. But this is the one I'm work. This is the one that has paint on. This is the Dozier um, one right here. You've seen that one in my last one. So there's that. I've also worked on the one in my face palette, which you will see in a second. The counter has a face palette, kind of, sort of. Oops, this is over here. Then we got eyeshadow palettes, and I have four so far. So I did finish up with Shockling, because I guess lately I haven't had many um, eyeshadow palettes that I like. Not that I need to do um, clutter or whatever. So this one I decided to take out the shadows and that's in another Z palette. That's the Orchid um, Not palette. And I am working on a ColourPop palette too and this one I did pop out all of them too. This one's from the Buxom, kind of like a collection but I don't need the palette anymore. So there's those two. So actually I just was just two palettes I guess. I find two palettes are gone. The palette um, of course it's the one I have in my bathroom that I am kind of working on. It's, I did move a couple of showers a little bit around, but I did hit paint on that one that I put in there. There's a paint on that, and there's a paint on that. This one, um, these four right here are the ones I put in there. So that's the original. So there's that. I need to hurry up because one of my teeth, my um, jaws getting kind of sore. That's why I haven't been able to do videos because it's hard to talk. Okay, so lip liner and lipsticks, I don't know. Okay, lip liner and liquid lipsticks. So but I haven't finished, I didn't finish up a liquid lipstick. So this this guy, this one is uh, M Cosmetics. So here's what he looks like. He's also pretty decent scooped out. Um, I did uh, use a little bit of it and put it into one of my containers because it was starting to dry up. But I swear this cat likes about everything in the moon, like usual. Yeah, I don't know what's at at the moment because it's kept batting around. Surprise, surprise. But yeah, there's that guy. I'm glad I had that guy gone. Then we have powders, which I don't know why this is down there. So I did finish up this guy right here. So this is by Terry um, one. Also gone. I'm glad I have his have it gone. I did have like a little bit left, so I just put it in my Franken powder and get that guy out of my collection. You still have powdery nightmare mess. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't like it. Would I get it again? Probably not. And face palette. So I don't really have like a face palette that I'm actually like excited to show you. So I am going to show you this guy. So this is a highlighter I've been kind of working on in the last few weeks or so. And then I mix these two for blushes. Then this bronzer. So let me show you the bronzer. So this guy I'm actually going to probably get in close to hit paint on very soon. You can see the like very soon. Probably like in the next day or so. Because you can probably see the bottom of it. A little bit kind of like the stripes in it as I'm looking at it, I can almost see almost see the bottom of the pan so I'm excited hopefully very soon I can hit paint on that <clears throat> that'd be so exciting this guy's mostly basically been sitting in my bathroom 
Okay, so we got, I'm looking down my crap. Then we got face, um, like a duo face palette, and that'd be one of these. I gotta see how many I have left, and then I go kind of whatever. So yeah, there's a cover FX one. And some tan bronze, yep. It's that guy. I had kind of like a satin one and a matte one. Uh, I did like the matte one. It wasn't too bad. The shimmer one, I can shimmer one. I can use very lightly as a finishing powder, but I had to be very careful with it. But it's that. Um, I forgot to talk about concealers. Duh! I finished finally finished the freaking Huda one. I know, finally. So yeah, this guy is even though he looks puff up, he's all gone and used up. Um, but yeah, you know he's still being, yeah. I'm glad to have this guy's gone, the guy done, uh, done. I was getting kind of tired of it. So, oops, I forgot to grab the other one, which way the hell are you at? Come here, L'Oreal. There he is. So I only have this one right now I'm working on. Um, this guy, of course, and that stupid tubey, so who knows how long that's going to last. But yeah, so it's that guy. You see him soon. Coming up soon. Okay. And then we and then we go back down to trio face palettes. Again, these duos and trios are one of those things. I'm going to see how much I have, what you call, left that I want to ban. So that's what that guy, I haven't really used it too much. Um, I was mostly, if I use it, I kind of bounce between the two of them, like the two mattes. These two, this one works pretty good for me. Um, let me just show you swatches. Like they're really pretty, but they're... Not really my shade for type of thing. Like, I do like them. What is those? Especially that light one. It's a little bit on the light side for me, but yeah, these two do work for me. I do like it. It's nice. I don't go goo goo gaga with blush palettes. I used to, but now I'm kind of like, what's the point? Okay, so I did finish up a single. So this is one of the books and ones. I did transfer him. I probably have more in there, but um, I did transfer him into one of my Z palettes because I had a big paint in it. And I just don't like having big holes in my makeup collection. So this is that guy. Oh, blush. I forgot to show you the blush. I might go over with this thing. Quickie's gone. So Quickie's actually in this blush. So you know that I used, so I did finish up one. So the Patrick Ta and Quickie's in this guy. So that's one more. There's that one. So let me swatch this guy. So I kind of created a... Uh, Kind of shade. Really pretty too. I do like it. I love how Bobby Pinks. Okay, then I also forgot a lip liner. And I was going to show you the lipsticks as well. So let's show you the lipsticks first with the two ones I'm looking for. I'm all over this thing. Alright, so there's that one. There's Cougar. She's one of my older ones. By Sephora, I love these things so much. They're beautiful. They're easy on the lips. It's amazing. Then my MAC one. This is Amores. So this that one. I know people bitch about it like say it's an older lipstick, I should declutter it, whatever. He's fine. He's he like he's not like rancid or anything like that. He's just older, so um I'm gonna use him up. See how he is. I try to use him as a blush, but I'm not sure how well. He's a little bit too dark to use as a blush. But yeah, I could use them as blush and see how that goes. I haven't tried in a little bit, so I might just stick them in there and see how he is. And then the lip liner, I'm still on this guy. This is the ColourPop Lippy. But I am down to here. So there's that. So here's a little bit. I'm going to shop him maybe twice since last time. So I am going to get in progress on these. These things do take forever. The problem with ColourPop line, the planets, they don't go to the bottom. They go about right here, I think. So I am getting closer to at the bottom, so hopefully soon. Of course, you will see a finale of where exactly where I'm at type of thing. Um, then I start, and then usually I do um, towards the end of January or something, then that's when I start uh, the refresh. Because I don't like to do an intro and then a refresh um, type of thing with this one because it's kind of like I haven't used any products up. I want to make sure I use some products up so I can show you. But yeah, there's that. That's kind of why this one is always, I don't start at, um, at the beginning of January, I always started towards the end of January. 
Okay, so another one we got, I should have quads and duos. I don't have one to show you. I used up. These are actually getting close to use all of them gone, which is a point. I actually did get a, like a quad, not a quad, um, a quint from Light London, kind of like a little thing. I got no small spinning and to figure out what the hell is one I'm going to see in my teeth. Okay. But yeah, this is clap black. This is what it looks like. I love that blue. It's so gorgeous. So this that one. I do like, I love silver. So let me swatch this one for you. I wish Revlon would, it's packaging is kind of being jacky. I'm even going to swatch that one too. But this blue is just stunning. I'm not sure if we can see the silver too much. There we go. Can we see the silver? But yeah, these are gorgeous. Um, if you see these at Walmart or whatever, again, discontinued. Definitely grab these. These are really good. I do have another one. I did finish up one of these. This one I like. Um, I basically got for the green. But yeah, so let me swatch this one. This one is Slight Flex. And this is the one I've actually used a little bit more because I used the one shadow as a highlight. That duochrome is really pretty too. There's usually about one duochrome type of thing in each one. So some, so there's that one. This is the one I probably didn't need. Now you can see a little bit more. It has like a little bit of a, it's not a great duochrome, but it's a light duochrome. So when I use kind of like a, as a highlight sometimes if I want to. But yeah, there's that. And the ones I bought, I probably should have only just kept this one, the one. The other one I got wasn't too bad too. Um, I just didn't really need it. But yeah. So it's pretty still in that category after I finish, of course. And that's a Quinn, so. But after I finish uh, these guys, we shouldn't have any more quad. I shouldn't have any more quads in my collection. I know I have some of those ones, all oh, the ones I want to use up. And the whole goal is to use up all my quads. But and then of course, then I'm gonna go down and just check my quints and my my like anything under nine pans and see if any ones I want to finish up. Then we go from there. So I will have to evaluate um, at the end of this year of what stuff those I want to use up. And then of course, when I finish those up, I go from there. Then I did add a serum to this category. I haven't, of course, I finished the last one up. And then here's the other one, the Peach and Lily, the Glass Skin Refining Serum. This is the one I've been using in my bathroom because, of course, since I got to be there an hour early, six, I got to be at 7.30 instead of 8.30, I don't get ready in the, out here, I get ready in the bathroom. So, yeah, this is about halfway. This guy should be gone soon. So, there's that. So that's it um, for this um, update. I hope you guys like this. Um, not too much exciting stuff at all that, uh, that I'm excited to show you. Hopefully I can get some more empties to show you. Makeup wise, probably not. Maybe a few more. I'm hoping to at least hit 75. That'd be like the basically the best be cool if I hit 75. More we'll makeup wise, like, let's see, let's see, three. So about eight makeup items that'd be kind of cool to use up next month, uh, this coming month, but I don't know if I can do that. I would love to get a perfume empty. It'd be so amazing. I'm, I've been so lazy on perfumes and body sprays. It's not even funny. But yeah, until my next video, I see you guys later. Bye guys. I'm probably going to do a lipstick, um, video as well of Project Pants. So stay tuned for that. I don't really do a finale for that one because of, I, I keep on going and going and going. So, of course, in January, you won't see any intros. The only intro empties you would, like a finale you would see would be the Deck of Panning, the one for the Cream of the Cream one, then, um, and this one. So, you kind of know how many uh, total, but total in general, if I count my um, non makeup products, I am at, of course, over 200. So, technically, I met it, but I want to make it kind of make challenging and do 200 makeup only. So yeah, so basically I've used up probably approximately like say 20 or so non-beauty items. So that's a good thing. Um, but a lot of things is of course that I buy a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I might do next year be kind of like a little bit different. It's kind of like um, I know buy and then show you. Um, let's see how much of an account.
count how many stuff I bought and stuff and of course I use up and etc see how that goes so that I might do it that way but yeah I like to do this kind of like 100 to 100 project pan because it's kind of fun and it's interesting to see how much I can actually use up but yeah until my next video I'll see you guys later bye guys